Hi everyone, Wednesday the 23rd of March, I'm Mark, this is the Biz Lounge. FTSE 100 back over the 6200 mark, up a fifth of a percent today so far at 6205. The market is showing some real resilience against uh, those atrocious attacks in Brussels yesterday. Now, one of the main FTSE 100 companies helping add to the gains today is Kingfisher. Now, this is the company that you probably know better for its brands. In the UK, it owns the DIY chains B&Q and Screwfix, while my French friends will know it as Castorama, the DIY chain, and also Brico Depot. Now, the company had its full year results out today, and pre-tax profits fell 20% to $512 million. Okay, if you keep the currency rate constant for this company, and that's what they've done. It looks like they just about made a profit, 686 million or a third of a percent better than last year. That's not a great gain, but still better than some were expecting. Also, the fuel year dividend was up an anemic 1% really over the previous year to 10.1 pence per share today. Speaking of the shares, by the way, they're up 3.7% on the back of the results. So the market, not too phased by that. Now, in the great retail tradition, I'm going to give you a two-for-one deal today because Kingfisher is actually my stock in focus today and its chief is my big boss spotlight. We'll get to her in a minute. But it's my stock in focus because I like this company. I have to. I shop there all the time. It's one of the most powerful DIY chains in France and Britain. Unfortunately, at the moment, though, all the growth is really coming from British consumers. The firm saw pretty weak trading in France, to be honest, and it needs to respond to this in order to boost revenue. So it's going onto my watch list, but with an amber flag, if you like. Now, as I said, Veronique Laurie is the firm's boss, and she's a former equestrian show jumper. So she must have a competitive spirit and be able to drive this company further into profit. But I have one question for you, Veronique. I'm a customer at your B&Q stores in Britain. I'm also a regular at your Castorama stores in France, particularly in Poitiers. But you still seem to see me as two separate customers. Now, I don't think that can be right, can it? It can't be efficient, and it can't work from a cost point of view either. Also, it can't fit into your one Kingfisher strategy that you've created. And given that most of us in 2016 move freely around Europe, spending our money in various different places, often with the same company, how are you going to focus on customers like me who contribute to your profits across both borders? Let me know. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, follow, and if you've got any investor questions, drop me a line, although I can't give any specific investment advice. Oh no.